Nothing, and I mean nothing, fits the theme of this video more than this. Wide receiver, offensive lineman, defensive lineman, fullback, running back, linebacker, corner, free safety, strong safety, head coach, assistant coach, and uh, a plethora and a barrage of other things as well. Like if that doesn't perfectly describe Taysom Hill, I don't know what does. But we've done an absolute madness and have put Taysom Hill as the starter for every single position on the football field. All 22 starting positions have Taysom Hill as the starter. An entire team of Taysom Hills today. And to test out how good an entire team of Taysom Hills would be, there's only one perfect fit for a potential opponent for today's video. <laughs> Eat corn and get RBT to 1 million subscribers by Christmas. Eat your corn. Love your corn. But you need to get RBT to 1 million subscribers by Christmas. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's scientific video. And if you do, make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. And also guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Because if and only if we've changed it, we hit 800k subscribers by the end of the year. We do a massive next-gen console giveaway to my subscribers and subscribers only. Three next-gen consoles up for grabs if we do hit that 800k mark. All we have to do is hit the same amount of subscribers as we did last year in December. And we can hit that. So make sure to take that millisecond of us. Take to click that subscription button if you have it. With that said, first thing we all have to do. I'm so freaking tired of people complaining in the comment section that it takes like three or four minutes to get into the gameplay. Like, bite me. That's why there's a freaking skip button, dude. But like, it's important to always go over the roster to show you like what his overall is at every single position. Like, that's a big point of the video. Like, get a freaking light. And of course, Taysom Hill comes in at a 66 overall QB. I feel like in the next roster update, they should probably upgrade that. Like, what do you guys say Taysom Hill's overall should be in at, at a quarterback position? I would say maybe a 70. 70 would be okay for him. At least a little bit higher than 66. At running back, he comes in at a 72 overall. At fullback, he's an 80. Actually, Fullback is his highest overall position at an 80 overall. At wide receiver, he's a 65. At tight end, he's a 72. This was actually what his position is in fantasy football before he actually became the starter. 72 overall. At offensive line, he's actually not awful. And all the videos that we normally do with the position player at every single position, at offensive line, they're normally like a 12 overall, which is the lowest you can get. He's like a 48 on average, so that's solid. Now, defensively is where things are going to get interesting. At the same time, he's extremely fast, which is always pretty freaking important in Madden. And at the same time, he used to also play in special teams. So his overall throughout defense is going to be a little bit higher than you see when I do some of the quarterbacks. Because obviously, like, quarterbacks, like, tackling rating everything isn't going to be that high. But Taysom Hill, it's a little bit different animal. At right end, he's a 59. Defensive tackle, he's a 55. Linebacker core, he's a 59. On the inside, he's a 54. On the right side, a 59. At cornerback, he's a 59 as well. Free safety is a 64. Strong safety is a 64. He's even a 64 overall kicker. Are you serious? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's his kick power? Like, normally in these videos, we can never kick the ball with the kicker because the kick power is so low. The kick will always be inaccurate and always just go two yards. But what's his actual kick power? It's 69? Dog, I love this guy so much. That's actually so crazy. We all learn some things in Madden Science. Oh my God, it's too good. The team of Taysom Hills is actually a higher overall than the New York Jets. Oh man, I love it, dude. I freaking love it. But of course, all Madden difficulty. Like, to be completely honest, this might be the easiest team challenge we've had all year long. I feel like if I don't win this game against the Jets, it's a letdown. I'd have to play awful to not win this. We're gonna go on simulation game type, five minute quarters, We'll do Super Bowl as we always do because I want to see a team of Taysom Hills hold up that Lombardi trophy. We've got to get the dub, but we can't let the Jets win. All right, Taysom Hill, the kick returner. I mean, he's actually so fast. I just recorded a video on the next-gen Madden, and it's just so crazy how more agile these players are on the old-gen version versus the next-gen version. The gameplay on next-gen is just so awful. It's so clunky. It's like you're running in quicksand. Now, the thing is, we don't have to necessarily do one thing every single play like we normally do. Since it's Taysom Hill, since he can catch the football, he can run the football, he can throw the football, we really can run the most balanced offense that we've ever ran in these stupid, dumb, pointless Madden scientific videos so we're gonna definitely mix some things up today but at the same time we'll run that was almost the worst start ever try a little read option here he contained Taysom Hill up the middle we'll pick up about six so actually try to pick up the pace a little bit third and four and run the read option again here 
Oh no. So as always, gonna call a few slants here. The O-line didn't look too good in that first pass. We'll block the running back, Taysom Hill. The slant, the slant, give it time, give it time. Make the throw. Oh man, that actually is the worst start we've had in the video yet. So that's just not the optimal start, but we'll get better, we'll get better. We're not losing this, especially to the Jets. Oh no, not good. I mean, he's fast and all, but obviously his coverage stats, his coverage ratings aren't gonna be too great. Interception would be great. Come on, a sack. Devin Fumble, get the ball, get the ball. Run, run, run. <laughs> I can't believe it. Let's go, Taysom Hill. I'm so happy. A strip sack for a touchdown, and we always see something different when freaking Taysom Hill takes the field, especially at every position. I don't think we've had a strip sack for a touchdown in any of these videos. Of course, it's Taysom Hill for the first. Now, I also want to see if Taysom Hill can be the first to actually make an extra point or a field goal in general. Like, this will actually make me so happy, happier than the strip sack. It's still the stinky, like, delay in the kick meter. And, okay, I don't get why. So does this kickoff suck as well? Like, I don't get it. Like, he had decent ratings as kicker. So, like, why did that even happen? Why is this happening? Since we forced the fumble earlier, let's actually bring some pressure here and try to get the Sam Donald. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Blitz in the game. Okay, the slant's open. Okay, so that's not the move. They're gonna kick the extra point, and they're gonna take the lead. I don't know why I'm running Wildcat, because him, like, at quarterback is the same thing as Wildcat, because they're the same players, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and try it. Hopefully this should work a little bit, and it just doesn't. So maybe I overestimated Taysom Hill's offensive ability a little bit. So let's just try the old trusty halfback screen. See if we can at least get one first down and get one, and we don't. Problem is, I'm kind of nervous because, as you saw, the kicking's still gonna suck for whatever reason, although it shouldn't because his ratings are decent. So we can't really punt the football because more than likely, it'll just go backwards like the field goal. And what is going on? Like, the offensive line is awful. So this is just, this is not good. Do I just go ahead and try and punt? Because there's no way I get a fourth and 30, right? If I don't get this, I get the ball to four. We might as well try to punt it at least, even if it's 10 yards down the field. All right, wish me luck. Hopefully this goes 10 yards. I'll take 10 yards. Okay, it actually went a decent amount of yardage. Like, that's so much better than what I thought it was going to do. I'm actually happy I made that decision. I'm so disappointed, though. Well, you haven't got a first down yet on offense. Fumble again! A fumble again! A fumble again! There's no way we do this again! There's no way! <laughs> Let's go! Okay, get away from me. Get away from me, fan. That's a touchdown. That's another touchdown. What is going on? This is another record. If anybody's gonna do it, it's Taysom Hill. I guess what we can say, even though his offense has not been too great, Taysom Hill finds a way to be effective. And that's on defense. A big hit. Our second fumble return. Four touchdown in this video. First time we've ever got multiple defensive touchdowns in the game. Now we have to go for two now. Try to get, make this a seven point game. I think we're just gonna try to inside zone this because our O line, for whatever reason, the Kyler Murray offensive line was better than this one. So handoff. We got it. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Oh man, it's wide open. He makes the kits that time. Oh, we're gonna let the 59 year old score, aren't we? Two minute warning. If they score though, at least we have some time. But I'm not too confident in scoring within two minutes because we haven't got one first down yet. And somehow we're winning 14 to seven. We gotta be thankful with where we are. Frank Gore, no way. Ooh, the big hit, the user big hit stops them at the one. They're gonna hand it off to the 95 year old, aren't they? And we guess from up the middle, that timing gets it. Jason Hill keeps it. Okay, that's finally our first first down of the game. Halfback screen is going to work eventually. And speaking into existence, we have so many blockers. Good block there. Get out of bounds. We didn't quite get out of bounds, but it's not the end of the world. Still have two more timeouts. This could be big. This could be big. This land is open. Taysom Hill, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's actually like, not awful because we can chew a little bit more clock. Don't want to give them too much time. But glad to see the offense finally getting something going here. First and goal from the five. Hand off. All right, perfect. We can actually chew a little clock if we want to. No way they stop us, right? Up the middle, easy money, touchdown. Now the problem is, we gotta go for two. Now do I go read option again? Like it's only been effective one time out of like six attempts. So maybe this is a mistake, but I screw it. Oh, there's no way. Like, I don't know what it is about Taysom Hill, but his character model, whatever his ratings are, I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but he gets sucked into so many big hit animations, which is fine with me. Run up the middle, 
didn't quite get it that time, and now, yep, that's what happens. That's, I just knew it. I knew it. I, it wasn't gonna be freaking magical for that long. This post could be open. Oh my, what a dime. Sitting here thinking Taysom Hill is so tired, but like, I can just bring in his backup, and it's the same player. So that's what we're doing. The backup Taysom Hill's in so he can run read option again. Like, okay, okay, okay. I'll take that. A nice six yard gain to make it third and manageable. A little inside zone here. A huge hole up the middle. Ooh! How did that D tackle make that stop? Okay, so we're for sure going for this. Fourth and two. They can't get that lucky twice in a row, right? And again, again, let's go. Big play. Here we are again. Huge play. Third and ten. I'm spread them all out. Hey, some's open. Which one, though? This one. Another dime. This slant. In the second half, or giving the Jets defense some fits. Sooner or later, we're gonna break this halfback screen for a big play. I think we've run it five times and we've had one play for positive yards. This could be the one. Come on, come on. I caught it. I caught it all the way down to the 11. That's gonna do it for the third into the fourth, dudes. This one's gonna be a sweaty. It's gonna come down to the freaking wire. So important if we do score that we get that two point conversion. Like, that's so freaking important. He contained again. Up the middle again. Take some hill. Oh, don't be holding. Don't be holding. It's gonna be holding. It's the only thing it can be. God, that sucks so bad. Yes, you best believe I'm running the screen again. Like, there's, there's, like, just open space. That's all there is. That's all there is. Run over him. Taste him heal. Oh, it's literally going to be, like, the same exact yardage as it would have been if we didn't get the holding call. Read option, but, like, there's no backers. I'm just going to hand the ball off the middle. That's up. Oh, my. I do what every Madden Pro does. And it's called 5,000 drags. Concentration, concentration. Huge play. What a catch. What a catch, and what a touchdown. Only one player, only one freaking player we've had in any of these videos can make that catch, and that's Taysom Hill. No team of Kyler Murray's is not going to make that catch. No team of Lamar Jackson's isn't going to make that catch. But yes, Taysom Hill, the legend himself, can make one of the clutchest plays in this series history. Makes that catch, there's no way. I thought he was going to catch that, but he did. At all, this might even be... Okay, it's not a bigger play than the last, but oh my. Dog, I'm a 25-year-old grown man that calls himself the Madden Scientist, and I just got an adrenaline rush from that. But this would be huge here. I think I actually need to throw this. They have so many people crowding that line of scrimmage that I feel like we need to throw this to have a shot. I'm once again going to call a freaking million drags here. Hopefully they all blitz allows the slant to be wide open. They don't quite, but he is open off his back foot. Ah, that could hurt. Making a huge mistake. I'm blitzing. I'm blitzing. Uh, this could be... Okay, so Sam Donald's going to scramble. That's another fumble. Get the ball. Get the ball. Run the ball. Run the ball. Bro, what is going on? I swear to God. I got nervous thinking I accidentally had a setting change because I've never seen so many fumbles forced, dude. But I didn't. I didn't. It's just the magic of Taysom Hill. Three defensive touchdowns. Like, I'm so confused at why this is happening. Like, it's an all men simulation. It's on freaking perfect 50 50 sliders down the freaking drain. That, you get what I'm saying. All right, so we didn't get the two point conversion, but like, as long as we don't allow a touchdown within like two seconds, I think this is going to be, from now on, a comfortable, relaxing dub. Like, Taysom Hill, man. Like, I think Sean Payton's actually doing him dirty, doing him a disservice having a quarterback. Though, he put Taysom Hill on defense, he might be the best defensive player of all time. Oh, that's not good. At least we get the big hit, but that was bad. That was cover two, and he threw the perfect post. That's like the perfect play call. Oh, God, I, I jiggled. That's just, oh, that was another sack. Threw the ball away, though. Okay, okay, okay. There's only a minute to go. We should be fine, I think. We're kicking a field goal? Oh, no, that's right. Since we didn't get the two-point conversion, this is still a one-possession game. I didn't even think about that. Oh, they're doing an onside kick, too. This is stressful, dude. There's no way, right? If anybody's going to recover an onside kick, it's going to be Taysom Hill. And it is Taysom Hill. Another one. Another one. That's going to be icing on the cake. I'm just so happy. I didn't think it was going to go like it's gone. You know, I never could have predicted, you know, four force fumble, three defensive touchdowns. But as long as it's effective, I'm going to try this. Since we're up by 14 points now, I'm allowed to be a little funky. I've never completed this pass, like, all year, I think. He's so open. That's got to be a spectacular catch. Boom! Perfection! Uh-oh. Oh. oh.
Thank you. Can we get up and return this? Okay, just don't fumble. In funky, funky fashion, the team of Taysom Hills gets a pretty huge dub. 40 to 30 over the New York Jets. A little bit more stressful than I would have liked. It takes three defensive touchdowns, but dog. Oh, what a weird game. Poor Sam. I'm so happy.